Hey bestie, it's just your girl Kari back with another video. Hey bestie, what y'all doing? If you're new, hello, my name is Kari Antonise. I'm your bestie, what's up? If you're not new and you're back, what it do, what it do, what you been doing, how you been? So today, we're gonna be doing the story time about how I snuck out to a party and got caught and got my butt whooped so bad at the age of 13. Junior wants an Abby on my mm. I can't really see what did I miss mm. Mm. Extra pursuit mm. Before we get into this video y'all don't sneak out i ain't trying to be a granny i ain't trying to be a grandma and don't sneak out because you will break your mom dad guardian or whoever take care of you whoever raised you whoever look after you trust and that shit is lame as fuck y'all like mama ganked like trust back at 16 and she lost it and then she's starting to gain it back kind of at 17 you could say it's it's like what a 90 out of 100 or we could we could really say lower than that 80 out of 100 i don't know I, we don't really talk about it no more i don't know but yeah at first that lady didn't trust me to save my damn life why because of these story times i'm telling you guys of what i used to do <laughs> So let's get right into it so i mean y'all a little background story so this is around like 2019 2020 i was 13 and i don't know if this was like nationwide i don't know if it was but y'all know like they used to post them parties on instagram flyers they like pop up leave a job with your mama don't bring no guns food provider or no food provided girls two dollars boys five y'all remember y'all remember that if y'all do, y'all do, y'all. This dude I was messing with at the time, mind you, I don't even know why I was technically messing with him. We wasn't really dating. We were talking. He ended up doing something with my friend when me and him was talking. And me and her, I cut her off because, like, girl, you knew. Like, I used to talk about this dude to her. So I ended up cutting her off. But I don't know why I continue talking to him. Just 13, dumb. Don't worry about it. We ain't like that no more. We ain't like that no more. Anyway. So I was like, hell over heels for a dude that I wasn't even with just 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 the lulu just crazy boy crazy it's crazy man it's i'm getting ah uh, thinking about it it was his homeboy birthday so i'm like oh i want to spend some time with him i might as well pull up but at the time my mama like did not let me go to these parties because they was always getting shot up i live in nashville so like i don't know like i said i don't know if it's nationwide probably so but like nashville parties back then they still do but i'm just talking about back then always got shot up people dying people getting wounded my mama used to work at the hair field so she knew all about it so she's seeing patients come in getting shot from this party this party so she like uh-uh and mind you it'd be teen parties so my mom like mm you can't go no more you know she like when your sister used to go there was never no violence now yogurt generation just crazy you can't go all that bullshit y'all at the time i hit up my home girl her mama wasn't really strict like i'm not gonna say her mama didn't care but her mama just let her like live life like she just was the type of mama she was like go ahead and ain't nothing wrong with that because sometimes i wish my mama was like that but sometimes i'm glad she wasn't like that i hit up my home girl at the time i'm like girl you want to go to this party i sent her the flyer i'm letting her know strong head i'm strong head he's not really an important factor because he's not this ain't about him but we like strong head gonna be there she like ooh girl so she like i want to go mind you she was a party girl she was down she was a friend that was down for any party so she like bad at first me trying to be an honest daughter so i'm up i was like hey can i go to this little party i try to make it sound good i didn't tell it was a boy party i said you know my home girl cousin is having a birthday party so can i go uh, she i was like it's gonna be adults there parents i'm making it sound sweet as cake sweet as gold glitter throwing out shots you know them little shots that make your mama feel comfortable with you going somewhere yeah did not work she said no she said you're not going they be shooting up parties it's dangerous you're not going she said how you know it's gonna be parents there then after you know how parents say mean shit and they feel bad so they try to make it sound good so she came back in my room and was like let me speak to the mama that's gonna be there girl whole time i don't even know the mama because it's the homeboy it's the dude i'm talking to homeboy's birthday party i don't know the mama i, I don't have no information of that so i told my mama i said i don't i, I don't have a number she said well you don't, you don't need to go you don't need to go you don't even know the mama name you don't need to go i'm like bro then i asked her i said so can i go to my home girls she, at first she didn't want me to go because she she had a feeling that i was gonna try to sneak so she first she said no but then once again like, like them parents that feel bad after they being mean she in my room she was like yeah you can go you can go 
But then she gave me a talk. She said, but Shakara, if you go behind my back, you go behind my back and go to this party, it's going to be me and you. But she said, it's going to be me and you. So I'm like, okay, I'm not going to go. We're just going to have a sleepover. We're just going to chill at her house. Lies. My mama once again dropped me off to the girl house. She's telling me the same story. You better not go to this party. It's going to be me and you. Do not go to that party. I don't want you to go. I'm like, okay. So I go in the girl house. The girl, she she got all her cousins there. They deep. I thought it was going to be me and her going. No, it was her cousins. But like I said, I had no problem with that. Because I'm like, okay, we off in the tee up. They all ask me, okay, who party is it? Who is this? Who is that? And I'm breaking it down to them. This is why I talk to homeboy at birthday. And I'm showing them pictures of the boy. They're like, oh, I know him. I know him. I know him. So they knew some of the people or they knew of some of the people that's going to be there. But one of the girls didn't know nobody. So it, it was okay. It played out. So... My homegirl, she ended up calling an Uber to the place. Mind you, the building was like four minutes from her house. So it was like up the street, literally. So she ended up calling the Uber, y'all. We was packing that little Uber. That girl was looking at us like, girl, y'all all finna, y'all all finna come, y'all all in here? Girl, I was in the front seat. They all in the back. Cause I don't know, I was just always the friend that wasn't scared to ride in the front Ubers. Like I'm, I'm comfortable. Maybe I need to stop being like that, but girl, boo. So mind you, when my homegirl called the Uber, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna leave my phone here because my mama made me share my location with her to make sure that I would not leave. That I would not leave, y'all. So keep that in mind. She made sure we shared location so she could check in, make sure I'm there 24 seven, right? So I left my phone there. That's why I couldn't call the Uber. I couldn't do nothing. That's why I had no videos of no fun because once again, I didn't have my phone. Anyway, so in the Uber, y'all, we was looking for the building for like, what, 10 to 15 minutes. We were confused. I'm trying to text strong kid like, um, where's this building? We're confused. We're, we're lost. We're lost. He's not replying. Like, you fucking flunky. Like, why are you not replying back? Why are you not replying back? It pissed me off so bad, y'all. I'm like, he's not replying back. They're like, girl, you talking to him? He not even replying back to your text message. The whole time we and him not even together. It's just been the Lulu shit. You feel me? The Lulu wasn't even out at the time, but that's what it was back then. Just crazy over a strong head nigga. Y'all, we whole time we confused about the building, right? We found out it's a church building. That's why we couldn't understand where we were going. We're thinking we're going to like them buildings, like a party. Girl, it was a church. It, it, it was a church. So we're like, mm hmm. Though we all clown and make a joke like, girl, we finna be doing all this in the church. We finna be targeting the church. I, I guess so. I mean, sorry, Lord. I love the Lord. Amen. But I just don't understand why would they pick a party that's gonna be a team party at a church building. I mean, I guess get it where it's free at. Hey, you know, I can't judge. So, fast forward. We walk into the building. It's big. I ain't gonna lie, that building was big. We were just looking. We are shocked. We didn't even want to go in because it was like the entrance where it was light. And then if you keep going straight, that's when the lights was out, music was playing. So we were just standing in front. Like, we did not want to go. I don't know why we were scared. Like, we were just standing right there talking. And then one of the girls like, hey, we need to just go in there and see what it's about. So we like, all right, bet. So we all went in there. It's dark. I spot Stronghead, but Stronghead saw me. And I don't know what Stronghead did. Stronghead turned his head. I don't think Stronghead was feeling me at all. But what's so funny is that Stronghead tried to hit me up as I got older, but I ignore Stronghead because boy, bye. Anyway, so yeah, Stronghead turned his head, and in my head, I'm like, boy, I done snuck out to go to this party for you just to come see you, just to come talk to you see where the vibes at and you turn your head like you don't know me so all the homegirls peeped it they were like damn like it was a little i felt a little hurt i'm like you don't know me you, you turned your head you saw me the whole party strong head didn't even acknowledge my existence so i ended up having fun with the girls we we're dancing we we're twerking you know like the little teen parties i'm twerking mind y'all y'all i'm like 80 pounds at the time i'm a 13 year old girl why I don't I don't body shame I, I don't do none of that but I'm I'm just confused here why is this like 250 pound man try to come behind me I don't know if y'all know about these little teen parties back in the day I don't know if they still do it cuz I don't engage in them I'm I'm a granny I stay home sip my wine but y'all y'all like the little teen parties you would target you would dance and a dude usually come behind you just to just to grab on it like just to catch it right y'all the man was like 290 pounds quarterback 
big tall trying to come behind me i'm getting it on the wall i forgot what song was playing i think it was gimme gimme if y'all know that song y'all know that song so i'm on the wall i'm getting it all my homegirls like lying and all y'all he come behind me mind you when he came behind me i'm on a like i'm on a wall and my body starts like he starts smushing me to the wall i end up moving i said uh-uh i don't even know they had it on camera or what but he looked at so mad like he like he wants to pimp slap me because i just embarrassed him in front of everybody i don't care you know i'm an 80 pound girl what you thought this was pound petite girl you uh, search on google only fans oh no this is not it move homeboy could have been 18 i would have never knew because i don't even know him from adam to eat from a can of paint i didn't know him once again most of the girls that was there knew half of the dudes that was there so they was catching their little vibes they was getting behind them because once again they 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 knew them so it's like but this dude didn't know me so it's like boy move and um strong head peeped it i guess he got mad i don't know why you're not even talking to me so I ended up start talking to Strong Care for like a short amount of time. He was like, oh, I didn't know if you wanted to talk to me or not. Just bullshit. Y'all, yeah, I was a little upset because I'm like, bro, I snuck out to this party just for the dude that I came here for. He didn't even talk to me the whole party. Did not talk to me at all. He only talked to me for like a quick second. And the conversation was dry. I ended up getting up and walking away because like, bro, you're lame. I, I ended up having fun at your homeboy party. I was having fun with the homegirls by myself instead of you making me like helping me have fun and just introducing me to the to the guy I don't know anyway anyway so me and my homegirl we sitting on the table because they didn't have no seats real ghetto we sit on the table talking and then that's when her mama she saw her mama call she was like mama been blowing up my phone she said my mama done left me like 10 Miss cause so i'm like a girl pick it up you know i done stuck to this party uh, she, just pick it up she's like oh yeah girl i forgot i forgot he's like duh girl pick that fucking phone up so she picked it up she like me and me and her ear both to it come trying to make sure like it don't got nothing to do with me it had everything to do with me so she hit me up she was like you know your little friend shakar she was like yeah she said why you didn't tell me she wasn't supposed to go to that party and you know my home girl's like uh what you mean she was like her mama called me trying to figure out where she was at she'd been calling her phone and she haven't been answering and then her mama said i went in the room and i saw her phone was on the floor and i told her mama that her phone was left in here and she went to the party y'all i just knew i had the smoothest plant out of the book i was gone go back home hit my mama with the oh i took a nap i've been asleep i was gonna hit her with that but her mama just basically sold out my plan so you know my homegirl talked to my her mama was like oh yeah you know her mama wasn't really max like i said once again she was a mama that let her child like not do whatever but she encouraged her to like have fun so she wasn't really mad she was just confused of why my homegirl wasn't honest with her she didn't like that line shit i mean i think i don't think any parent do so Bro, I'm like shaking. I started shaking. I'm like, oh my God, bro. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. My homegirl's like, dang, I forgot the mama number out of my mama's phone so she wouldn't be calling. She said, I don't know why I didn't do that. And then she said, damn, I forgot my mama would have lied for you. I don't even know why. I didn't even know why I didn't tell my mama to tell your mama that you was asleep. Like, because mind you, she didn't tell her mama that I was supposed to go to the party. Like, she didn't let her mama know nothing. So she was saying she should let her mama know something so her mama would have knew how to, like, defend the situation. Because her mama... Yeah, her mom was one of them. She would lie for the kids. She would. That's why they called her the cool mom. But I mean, hey, my night was worn. I had a lit night. It went from a lit turn light to to I'm sad. I'm shaking. I'm nervous. Like y'all, I was so nervous. I was shaking. Like I want to cry. Like I just stopped talking to everybody. My homegirl was like, "Are you okay?" I said, "No." Like I didn't want to talk. I just wanted to get the day over with. So we end up Ubering back to her house. We ended up leaving early because we were like yeah night is it's canceled my homegirl telling all the, her other friends was like yeah she done got called we, we gotta go so we ended up going back to the house bro i picked up my phone my mama left me like 37 missed calls 100 some texts i'm going through the text she told my son yeah this is the last time you gonna ever see the daylight you this is the last time you ever going anywhere other than your granny house she just blown on my phone she said oh i'm gonna give you the time of your life when you get home she told me call me when you get here call me when you get to the house so i ended up calling her i was like hello like i sound so pitiful I was like hello she said so i know you went to that party without my permission after i told you not to so I'm gonna pick you up first thing in the morning, make sure you be ready. And she hung up my face. Hung straight plumb up in my face. That was it. Me being me, I 
wanted to get the night over with. I want to sleep and wake up. It's morning time because you know how like you don't want to stay up all night just thinking about ooh like I'm scared, I'm shaking. So I wanted to go straight to sleep. So her mom ended up giving them liquor grapes. We were probably like, girl, y'all 13, 14 at the time. Yeah, it it just it's just a lot, y'all. It's just it's just a lot going on. So I ended up eating some of them. Mind you, like I said, 80 pound 13 year old girl system is weak. I was not knocked i went straight to sleep they was all like dang like because i guess they were used to it. i wasn't the house, home i came from we don't we don't do that around here partner so i went straight to sleep woke up y'all looked at my phone i was so sad y'all it was like eight in the morning like 10 minutes of me being up my mama hit me with the on my side y'all she was not playing she came nine in the morning fresh in the morning she was ready like ready just ready to get this anger releasement out so you know i'm i got grabbed my bags the other girls were still asleep i grabbed my bags i left because i already knew my phone was getting took and so i ended up texting my home girl saying if you don't hear from me my phone took because i already knew like the combo the phone took combo so i was leaving the living room her mom's like oh girl we ain't gonna see you no more this the last time you they laugh and I don't, I don't find them funny I don't find them funny because I'm scared so I get in the car you know when the car wide is silent it's no games to be played with when you got home so she end up my daddy ended up calling her while I was in the car because I guess she told my daddy what was going on so my daddy gave me that talk mind you my daddy in and out he 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 chooses when he want to be a daddy so I, I mean I'm not saying what he was saying wasn't right but I was just a little salty because I'm like boy you pick and choose what what are you talking about so he basically like you lucky i can't come beat your a because i would have came beat your a why well, disrespect your mom like that he was like anything could happen to you you could have got shot you could have died because like i said y'all these national parties was no joke back in 2019 2020 they probably got worse now but back then they just wasn't no joke so everybody knew about, like it wasn't safe anything can go down just keep your kids at home have a little summer party because it's dangerous out there so yeah they just going off which my mom wasn't going off my dad was. fast for a week at home my mama hit me with the um take everything off but your panties oh my god <laughs> oh my god take everything off with your panties i put a cry and then she said power your phone off put it um in my room then go in the room everything off panties Y'all, I could have had a heart attack. I hated hearing that. I power, I started tearing up. I powered my phone. I put it on her dresser. I went in there. She said, make sure you be laid out. I think that's 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 slavery, y'all. That's just abuse. I don't care what nobody said. My kids are not getting that treatment. Anyway, so I took everything off. Because I used to pad it up. So I guess she caught onto my skin. So she told me to everything off but the panties. So I did that, y'all. She had a spike belt. The belt could have took out my skin and made me look albino. Y'all, no joke. Just the, the spikes on it. Y'all, she started tearing me up. All I could do was yell. I didn't want to run because running made it worse. It just made them more mad. So I just stood there just crying. She's like, you, you're not going to do it again. You're not going to do it again. I said, I promise I'm not. Please stop. She said, I know you're not. I know you're not. When I get done, you're not. Y'all, that will be lasting a good it seemed like forever but i want to say it was like five minutes yeah that was my last whooping i have ever got that was my last whooping at 13 like i didn't get no more because that whooping i still remember and i'm 17 to this day and i still remember that whooping that whooping was crucial i i just i never in my life felt something that mad she was mad as fuck y'all what did she do to make them niggas that mad she was mad so after that whooping you know how you just stay in bed for like a good 10 or 20 minutes just sitting there cropped up crying 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 yeah i was crying because my johnny had no phone i don't think it had it was a tv i mean at least she didn't take the tv but i was just depressed i'm like bro so y'all i end up taking that l did y'all ask did i ever sneak out again after that hell no i ain't sneak out no more well i'll take that back i did my phone was taken for a month going on two months like she was not playing no games and then she wanted me to cut communication with everybody that was like no good so she took my phone for like going on two months i want to say i snuck on this other phone that i had and yeah i snuck on that little phone that i had and go on my instagram and stuff on it 
and then i think i want to say i got caught on that so it made my phone band took longer than what it was supposed to be y'all she pissed me off she said i was gonna get your phone to you tomorrow but since i found this you ain't getting it back for another whole three weeks y'all could have passed out and threw up in my mouth because what do you mean i could have had it back i think she just wanted me to feel bad she really did want me to feel bad y'all i think so which i think y'all think so yeah my phone took in january the what 13th of like 2020 i think and i ended up getting it back like march like it was y'all i think it was march the 14th so we can really say two months i don't know why i said month and a half baby that was two months my phone were gone gone when i felt my phone it was cold it, it felt like it's been abandoned i ain't gonna lie i didn't even attempt to sneak on my phone at night cause i used to do that like going home and sneak on it but i stopped because it's like that lady purposely knew when she heard footsteps she's looking up so i said yeah we ain't gonna do that but yeah basically that's really it like i said don't break your garden trust it's not worth it it's lame because then they're gonna grow up not trusting you and when you actually get older you can't live your life but me personally i can live my life but i just feel like i did everything at the ages of 13 through 15 and now that i'm 17 it's just seemed lame to me i don't know maybe when i go to college live my life i may tee up i don't know but i just view it as boring because i already did that been there so yeah like i said y'all don't try to grow up too fast and y'all don't be boy crazy I wish I could tell my younger self that because it seemed like these story times have always something to do with a boy because I was young and dumb. But y'all, y'all ain't gonna get nothing recent like that no more because I ain't playing them games. Baby, we, we're not playing them games. But that's it for today's video, besties. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, besties.